everyone, Morgan here. And today I have a review of the Wallaby Food Storage Solution Bags. They are five mil thick. So these are Mylar bags that you would use for um, sealing food storage. I will say that they sent me these for free in order to do a review, but this is actually the first time that I'm using this but I do know about the bags. I've been following them for a while. And so I really want to talk to you guys about what you would get for, you know, purchasing these. So essentially, uh, these are, these are one gallon. I'll show you here in just a minute. Now they come in, um, a variety of packages. This one in particular has 75 large one gallon. It's 10 inches by 14 inches, um, in uh, diameter. And then it comes with oxygen absorbers and labeled all together, okay? First of all, it comes in this nice bag in which you could actually just store everything in here and it's resealable because they're black. Isn't that cool? Not all their bags are black, but this one is black, I think. That is so freaking cool. But this comes with its own Ziploc uh, bag here that all the bags come in. Let me pull one out. Oh my gosh, these feel just, just right off the bat, they feel great. Okay, so I actually have some little bags that are kind of like this in a sense of it, it has something on the outside like this. Mine looks kind of like paper and then it has the mylar on the inside. I like that because it reduces the amount of light that can come in. And uh, I love those little bags, but this one is really great too because it's it's black, so it does block light, you know? Um, I, and they're five mil thick. They feel very, very thick and very durable. It's just like most mylar bags, you know, it has the little a little slit here so when you do seal it you can just easily open it up okay so i'm going to go ahead and put a little something in here and i'm going to seal it up and then i'm going to show you the other bags that they sent me which are pretty dang amazing too so i'm going to show you the additional contents that came in this package this actually came with 8400 cc's now these are not individually packaged but they're not all packaged together like some of them um, it looks like there's about 10 so there's one two three four five six seven um there's one two three four five six seven eight yeah so there's eight packages with 10 each inside so it's better than having you know 50 inside but if you're not going to use all 10 you know i could get through 10 bags pretty easily so that's nice that it's packaged a little bit smaller and it says that these are 400 cc's it's recommended that you use anywhere between 200 and 400 cc's in gallon bags usually i use 300 but sometimes uh, 400, you know, as far as I'm concerned, you can't use too many, too much, like too large of an oxygen absorber. Okay. Um, but okay. So these are each 400 and it also comes with 80 labels. Isn't that great? I don't know of any other company that would come with labels. So it's pretty nice. Um, it comes with labels. The labels just stick on here. What's nice is that these are white and it's sticking on this nice black. So you'll be able to see it very easily. Um, and so, you know, I've never had a problem with markers rubbing off of my Mylar, but you know, uh, it's nice to have these labels that just stick on there real nice. Okay. So I just packaged it with some oats, oxygen absorbers already in there. I usually just kind of stick it in. So now I'm just going to seal it like I would any other Mylar. There we go. There we go. Let's see how it seals. <laughs> There it is, all sealed up. So I like to wait for it to cool down completely before I mess around with it to see if it completely sealed all right. But it did seal above that uh, line there, um, which is good, the little tear line, which is good. Um, you, don't, you generally want it like that. But uh, so the oxygen absorber's in there. Okay, let's go ahead and see. It's all sealed up. So what you wanna do, no matter what you seal, is you wanna make sure that it's sealed good and you want to make sure that there's no holes or anything popping out so any heat sealer this will work with any heat sealer the vacuum i use a vacuum sealer to heat seal all of my mylar bags you can use uh, an iron i've used that as well in the past video and you can also use a hair straightener that works as well too i just happen to use a hair uh, i'm mean, sorry a vacuum sealer because that's what i have but you always just want to make sure that it's nice and uh, sealed up and there are no holes and that's what it looks like. Bada boom, bada bing. And then you're gonna put the, the label on. Go ahead and put the label on. You can put the label on before or after. It doesn't matter. Isn't that a nice label? Mine is nice and crooked, I love it. <laughs> now look at this monster that they sent me. <laughs> 
these are um, the 15, these are the, uh, it's the 15 gallon, these are the extra large, it's about half my height, okay, not half, but it's almost up to my hips, these things are huge, so these are going to be good for the five gallon buckets, okay, um, well, I mean, you don't have to put them in the five gallon buckets, but it's recommended that you would use it for those five gallon buckets. Anyway, um, so let me go ahead and open this. This comes, this comes with a lot of the same similar things. It just comes with 15 five gallon for the five gallon bucket. So 15 extra large five gallon, they're 15 inches by 30 inches. So it comes with the 15 um, Mylar bags, 20, 2,500 cc's, which I always recommend you put at least 2,000 cc's in a five gallon bucket. So coming with 2,500 cc's is really good. Again, I don't think you can have too many oxygen absorbers. And then it comes with 20 stickers for, um, for labeling. So um, I will say one of the really nice things about this company is that they give you extra of the um, oxygen absorbers and extra of the labels in case you mess up or whatever you know things happen so they give you like a few extra i've noticed a trend of five extra in each and like it came with 75 um, uh, one gallon bags i got 80 labels and 80 uh, oxygen absorbers this comes with 15 bags and then it comes with 20 oxygen absorbers and 20 labels so that's really nice it's really nice that it comes with a little bit extra so this is the same type of uh, packaging. It comes with a little Ziploc bag in which you can store all of your Mylar bags in, which is really nice and organized. I want to take one of these beasts out. Woo! Now, I normally, I will confess, I normally do not use these big five gallon Mylar bags, but I am going to show you how they work. And for these big my, my five gallon Mylar bags, you will actually want a hair straightener in order to do it, or an iron, if you want to lug this up on your ironing board, right? Um, or at least some sort of, you know, surface in which the ironing board will be safe to put on. But let's go ahead and put this in here. Okay. So you will put this in the bucket and then you're gonna go ahead and fill it and then it, it will compress down you know once stuff gets in it and you'll be able to seal it up and then actually take your hair straightener and um, mylar bag or whatever and seal it up what's nice about this one that I didn't see with the one gallon one is that it actually has a uh, vacuum uh, I'm sorry a ziplock seal it has a zipper seal let's say you package this you put the oxygen absorber in okay and then you know it comes time you're like all right i'm gonna dig into this bucket start using the flour that's in here or the sugar or whatever now you can open this up it has this nice zipper you can open it up and then you can just start using it and then zip it up and then put this lid back on and you don't have to put a new oxygen absorber in because now you're just going to be using it but now you don't have like a randomly opened bag, you have this nice zipper bag in which you can just close it back up and then put it back and put the lid back on and, and there you go. So these bags are awesome. Again, you know, you don't have to use this for, um, you don't have to use it in a five gallon bucket. You could just use it as is. But what I would suggest if you were to use it as is, is to then put it in some sort of bin. Um, to make sure that you're keeping it safe from critters. And that's the exact same thing that I recommend with these one gallon Mylar bags is to put it into some sort of bin in, in the five gallon buckets, whatever, to make sure that you have a sealable lid and to make sure that you're keeping it away from critters, bugs, all that kind of thing that can chew right through that stuff, right? <laughs> all right, well, that is my review of Wallaby. Uh, food storage solutions head on over to the website link down below in the description really high quality stuff so far and if you're looking for mylar bags really honestly I would support a small uprising company like this that has a lot of varieties uh, for food storage and they are pretty involved in the community uh, they've been you know very um, you know involved in you know interacting on social media and stuff like that and I think that's kind of important for for some businesses um, so definitely go check them out. Link down below in the description. Thank you all so much for watching. Conquer tomorrow by preparing today. 
and I'll talk to you later. Bye.